Hello friends, welcome to Chemicals. Hope you all are doing well. So in this video, I am going to solve one practice question. Okay. So you can see I have written already the question. So I will solve and the question is that you can see three same kind of uh, starting material is given and same conditional heat that is given. And you can see that in every case the nitrogen will be formed and three product will be formed and what will be the rate of forming of these three compounds so that is the question we have to write the decreasing order of the rate okay so before solving this i want to mention one thing that these are the compounds that i have written that are the compounds that came from homo solder reaction and if you don't know the homo solder reaction then that time I will suggest all of you to go through our separate video on homo solder video that there we have discussed about this homo solder reaction and that is a special kind of solder reaction so that is a special kind of solder reaction so there we have discussed uh, the mechanism the examples uh, various type of examples we have taken and we have discussed there the homo solder reaction but here I have taken the product of homo solder reaction and I will use the heating condition and that time I will get the product that means it is the reverse homo solder reaction the problem is from reverse homo solder reaction now I will jump into the uh, this practice question so here you can see I have written this three starting material heat is given that means in heating condition deal solder as well as retro or reverse deal solder reaction can take place and as heat is mentioned so in exam also i will recommend all of you if heating condition is given so that time if you can find that and the starting materials are resemble to some kind of recyclic product or starting material so that time you always think about first about the recyclic reactions okay so first here you can see i have the starting material and in presence of heat what will happen so here i will not discuss about the mechanism only i will show the answer so in this here i have told that this is reverse mode solder reaction okay so what will happen in, in presence of heat so this bond will go here this bond will come here and this bond will come here so what will be our product a our product a will be if I write product A, so this is our product A. Okay. So now if I write the product B, so that will be again I am showing here. So in this case, what will happen? This bond will come here, this bond will be cleaved, and this bond will be cleaved. So in this case, what will be the product? This will be the product okay now if i write the product c directly so the product will be so this will be the product c and this is b so now now i have got my three products now how you how i can tell that what will be the rate the decreasing order of the rate of the formation of this three product so in this case you have to consider one thing that is the steric strain now here you can see three compounds i have got but this p and c they are bridged bicyclic compound but this compound is not bridged bicyclic okay there is no bridging methylene group is present so always remember that this bridge bicyclic compound will be less stable compared to this kind of uh, compound where the bridging uh, methylene group is not present. So here you can, uh, so from that I can conclude that this A product will be most stable among these three. So as you can here you can see that these three compounds are sterically hindered means there is there is steric strain. So they will try to release the steric. 
and here you can see as A is the least steric, so the formation of A will be fastest. So here you can see, so th this steric stain has been released, so this uh, product has been formed. And uh, among them, as this has the least, least steric, so this formation of this product will be highest. So the need of formation of A will be fastest. Now I have two compounds, two bleached bicyclic compound. And here you know one thing that we all know that in case of bleached bicyclic compound, when the number of methylene carbon in the bridging position will increase, that time the stability of the product will be higher. And here you can see in this case the bridging methylene group is 1, but in case of C it is 2. So it is obvious that between B and C, C will be more stable because here the number of methylene carbon is higher. So from this we can conclude that between B and C, the rate of formation of C will be highest, means between B and C. So between B and C, the formation of C will be faster. So after A, the rate of formation of C will be the second. So C. And we, have, we are left with one uh, option only that is B. So the rate of formation of B will be slowest. So in this way, I can get my correct answer. So in this practice question, I have discussed uh, uh, two basic concepts that is the retro or reverse homo solder reaction that I think uh, I will give the link in the comment section as well as in the uh, i button you can click and you can find that video. So I will recommend that after watching that video you watch this uh, retro uh, or reverse deal solder uh, homo solder video that will be more helpful for you. So here I have considered the homo solder uh, retro homo solder reaction as well as the steric strain of bicyclic compound. So using those two basic concepts I can uh, end up getting my proper answer. So in question also nowadays uh, in organic portion mainly they can give two or three or can be sometimes many. So there will be different kind of concept that will be in only in one question. So you have to find the basic concept and you, you can find your answer. So in question, uh, in examination all, all only you have to think about two three concepts. So that, that is the main motto of this practice question that how easily using define different kind of uh, basic concept you can find your answer correctly. So I think using this uh, different kind of concept how I can get uh, my product uh, and the proper answer that I have discussed in this video and I think this video will be helpful for you and if you find this video helpful please press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel that will help us more and another thing please share with your friends so that they can also uh, learn this kind of question and with this I want to thank all of you to be with us and again thank you for watching.